amazing. Something in the scientific community which finally shows us that the body emits light. Now, on the left, we have the thumbprint of a junk food diet. And on the right, the healthy diet. If we're surrounded with fiery light, no harmful virus or bacteria can penetrate. If we have a compromised diet, then we have Achilles meridians, where harmful frequencies and radiations can settle. It's important to shine. The etheric layer is observed in Keelian photography. Look at this, the microwaved apple on the right. We've sure as hell learnt how to smash the living daylights out of things because we've lost the ability to respect the quality of our food. And that is why I say the best advice you can give to someone is to create an allotment. In England we call it an allotment. It's like a garden where you can grow vegetables. I know here you have them too. Maybe a field over there and there's a hundred people and they're a community. I'll swap some of my sweet corn with your radishes and some of my uh, marrows for your pumpkins. What do you call it? Yeah. That's the best advice you can give someone is to grow their own food. This is the processed white bread on the left and the wholemeal bread on the right. We eat light. If you want to be a human doing, eat junk food, processed bread, white sugar. I got picked up by uh, Stern this morning. I'm shameless. I was using white sugar. I couldn't find any brown sugar. But technically, if you look under a live blood microscope, white sugar is opium to white blood cells. They are smacked out. Normally, the white blood cells clean the blood all day, but I guarantee you, in your customers, their white blood cells will only be working about three hours a day because of white sugar. If you can get people off white sugar, eating raw, fresh food, and drinking charged water, you will have a success 100% of the time. I guarantee it. I will give you their money back. I will give them your money back. <laughs> anyway, I'll get some money out of it. I'll take a commission. We have all kinds of ways of measuring the biofield now. This is the electroscanning method. This is the Winora, which is a load of crap. Um, this is the PIP. Now you can see here, the left, a healthy person, on the right, someone with cancer. There's significant changes in the field. When we look in focus, we get the physical health. When we look out of focus, we see the shielding over the heart. You see, it's possible now, using this type of technology, to see the roots of diseases. Glenn Ryan said to me the other day, you know what's interesting about you, Thornton? You don't measure disease, you measure health. I'm measuring health. We are measuring health. That's what we do. And we magnify and increase the potential to get the most fabulous optimization of an individual. And when we observe healing, there's always white light. Healers are drawing down white light and sharing it. Because you do not want Pantone color 647 green projected onto you by me. Because you might want 67219. I just pro produce the whole Caran Dash box of colors, white, and you take from it what you need. That's why you have healers and healies. It's a game. It's a dance. It's a tango. And PIP is a live system. Why am I talking about these machines? Because we have just done an eighth month clinical trial into NES with all of our tools, and it's unbelievably good. Your system is unbelievably good. You are very lucky people that you've picked up the right toy in the playground. P 
People who are healthy, people who are sick. People who are health, whose health is compromised. Listen, language is everything. If I can share one thing with you now, it's please be aware of the words that you use to describe things. You are blocked. Well, thank you. I'm going to go around thinking I'm blocked. Or you are shielding yourself right now as part of a very sophisticated process, which I have no idea what's going on, but I have some kind of a lens on it, and your healing journey is right here, right now. Can we help? Can we let you go to go and collect 400, or are you going to go back to jail? Monopoly? When we film a pregnant lady, we can even see the golden child in her womb. This would be a breech birth, by the way. Her head is up here. And notice the dental issues that so many pregnant ladies have as they give their calcium to the growing embryo. See all that congestion around the jaw? And interestingly, you may have heard of the phantom leaf effect. This is a phantom limb. This guy's had his arm removed but he's got phantom elbow pain. And sure enough, you can see that phantom limb. You see, here's the stump, and this is the phantom limb. In other words, there is a living matrix upon which our cells hang. And if the matrix is imbalanced, the body has to wait. You can't build a house if there's tea all over the plans. You have to redraw the plans. This is a living matrix. It's not as simple as the blueprint of a house. But it takes 10 weeks for a broken leg to heal because for a few weeks, the field is balancing. And then the cells can heal. That's why our gift is to balance and harmonize fields as quickly as possible. And then we allow healing to take place. I've never healed anyone in my life, but I've wasted a lot of time trying. The future. Isn't it annoying when your clients have to spend an hour and a half in a traffic jam to get poked and stroked by you for 45 minutes and then get back in the car for an hour and a half? How do they feel? Do you care? This is what I'm saying. See people once for an hour. Maybe they need a bit of fine tuning. I don't know how many sessions you need with Ness. But what we've done is we've looked at all the different devices that are out there and corroborated them, collaborated them. Oh, turn into my English. Just as well you guys don't speak it as a mother tongue. Um, but the simple fact is, is that now we have a floating island of tools on a sea of chaos. We don't know what we're looking at, but we've got a raft and we're clinging to it. The GDV. Fabulous tool, before and after treatment. Before and after treatment. This provides data which I can analyze and I can satisfy scientists. Well, I never will. I'm not going to play dead man's shoes. I'm not going to bang my head against the wall, getting frustrated with those guys who, who think they own. It's like the legal people. This is our ivory tower, you know, bugger off. You've got to have this special certificate, otherwise you can't play this game. It's a stitch up. It's an absolute stitch up. Don't play it. GDV, it's awesome. It's awesome. Now, let's have a little look at NES. I'm not going to spend too much time on this, but our, the body of our research is done. 300 cases, two different placebo groups. Um, Two different control groups, I should say. Actually, it's 240 subjects. Over a long period of time, with the NES, being analyzed by different devices. I'm not going to bore you with numbers. But look. You see here? You see how her solar plexus is congested? How it clears with your system? You see, disease 
is shielding that shouldn't hang around so long. It's when chakras are stuck. Look how beautiful the symmetry is in this field compared to when they started. Their field is all jaggedy. But after treatment with the nests, after three visits, they're banging. I don't know whether that translates very well. Uh, they're healthy. Now, I've got some really nice pie charts here. When we looked at all of our studies, 185 of them all had positive results. Only a few had a negative change. I sometimes hear people talking about NESS, especially like, you're not quite sure what percentage of your patients really get something out of it. Statistically, it's that much. It's huge. We should congratulate Harry and Peter for the amazing effort that they have made to produce something that actually works most of the time. And the ones that it doesn't work on, they're getting, they're getting into the soup. They probably live in a house which is so electromagnetically compromised that whatever treatment you do, they're diving back into the sewer. GDV, the EIS, 188. Funnily enough, 192. Bloody good. It really is. So, oh. anyone heard of Valerie Hunt? Valerie Hunt's an amazing scientist. And I was stunned when I went to um, Regents College and I saw this lady this lady here in the lotus position like this and you know she's whatever color she is pink and her child came and started running around her and it was like a maypole there was a connection a pink energy connection between their two crown chakras as the child ran around and what was so amazing was that when she started oming like Amen or Om. When she started Oming, she, she lit up like an oxycetylene torch. She started blazing with white light. So if you want to be good healers, use your tools, but also be aware that you are wizards and witches. Ideally white witches, but multicolored's good too. So eating junk food makes the energy field very depressed. Standing on the beach expands it. And sitting in prayer or kneeling in prayer. The problem with our youth is that they don't go to the spiritual laundromat, which is church or the temple. These designs are very clever. They're like, you know, the coin wash where you put your clothes so we can launder our own karma by kneeling, by putting our meridians all together, by bowing our crown chakras and allowing this amazing antennae, which is the spire or the, um, the, 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 the temple piece, the, the mosque, spires, they're all spires, like mobile phone masts drawing in cosmic energy. And the plate is designed by those uh, Templar types who know how to flush out the dross from your body. So what do our youth do? They wear track suits. They even go to sleep in their trainers. They're boiling a bag. Separate. They've become separate. You know health, the talk of health is a mask for the conversation about spirit. Don't be fooled into thinking it's anything else. I've been working on some equipment myself, 